Hello and welcome to another exhibit from the Amadora Comics Festival, now dedicated to Spanish artist Alfonso Font, who will be familiar to uh, some old-time old American readers uh, as his art has appeared uh, in the black and white magazines from Warren uh, and, uh, and Skywald. Uh, so most of the stuff here is from a uh, is Spanish period. This was published in this was published in Simoc. It's from Barcelona in the morning. From the series uh, Taxi, Chapter Four. It's published in SAF Comics. And this is from Chapter One. So. So a, a typical European style that was uh, acceptable to, to Americans, especially those that preferred the uh, more adult comics found in the black and white magazines. More pages from Taxi. Sorry about the noise, there's a lot of people here, including children. I came soon to film the exhibit, but uh, it was already full. And today is the last day of the uh, of the festival. It was two weekends. This is from uh, Tales of a Future Imperfect, also published in SAF Comics. So what happened in Spanish comics was that uh, it was similar to French comics, but um, you, but since you weren't sure that you were going to get an album, you would create uh, short stories in the same series or uh, produce a, a long-running series. There I am appearing again. Sorry, you'd produce a, a long-running series uh, that would enough chapters to get collected into an album. And Tales of, uh, of the Future Imperfect was one of those series that uh, was published in, uh, in several issues. Or, with several short stories. This is from Prisoner of the Stars, a science fiction, science fiction uh, story that I think was published in Warren Comics, in the Warren magazines. Several pages here. It kind of looks like Judge Dredd in some places. Uh, and uh, a few, a few of Spanish artists, of course, worked for the uh, for 2080 and Star Lord. So they had uh, similar styles. Prisoners of Stars, which was published in, here in Portugal in the 1980s, I believe. Uh, more recently, uh, Alfonso Fan has started working for the Italian publisher Bonelli. And here's the, the story Posse from uh, the series Tex. Adapting his style to to fit in with uh, the, reg the le regular Tex house style. Because like Superman in the Silver Age, he had to draw the, the main character to be recognizable no matter who the artist is. This is from the story of the wind. Previous one, uh, a dead man's hand. This one is also from the wind. Usually in Italian comics, uh, there are one, about 100 pages, and they're either a uh, full-length story or a two-part story, which continues in the next issue. Uh, but there is usually a little continuity. This is from the series Clark and Kubrick, Madman Reservation. This from another album in the series, Master of the World. This character looks like Bud Spencer, Italian movie star from countless westerns alongside Terence Hill, but it's, it isn't. Uh, there's no intimacy in the name of this album.
I'm sorry, I mistranslated. Uh, uh, I am not scared is the name of the, the album. I'm sorry, was, uh, I misread the word. Uh, Carmen Bond, uh, cheesecake comic, so uh, bye bye monetization. <laughs> And as you can see, uh, European artists are not afraid to try out uh, stories in different genres than the than the ones that you might be used to seeing them in. Or they might do erotica or uh, humor or a, a western, straight up action and science fiction. It, it doesn't really matter. Now this is from the series John Roner, Devil in Hell. looks like historic fiction. Oops. This one is from the Black Ace. And what have you done for victory? War comic. Representing the uh, Spanish Civil War. A favorite theme in the 70s and 80s. There I am appearing in the shot again. This is from Dark Stories, the old system. Dark Stories is more a uh, series of vignettes. Here's another one, another Dark Story called Weekend. And this is it. This is the Alfonso Font exhibit in the Amador Comics Festival. Thank you for watching.